I had worked on Wall Street for 25 years, had a great career, and really loved it. At my 25th anniversary, I retired, and the plan was for my husband and I and my children to travel, see the world, and we were going to drink some of these fabulous great wines that we had been collecting for years and years and years. Then I was diagnosed with stage 3C breast cancer and my life came to a screeching halt. I decided that I was going to do two things. I decided that I was going to do everything I needed to do to fight the breast cancer. And the second thing I decided to do was to start drinking some of that good wine. My daughter, Erica, was 15 years old at the time. Of course, when I told her that I had breast cancer and what was ahead of us, her world came crashing down a little bit too. And I think that Erica channeled her fear into something that has grown into Breast Intentions, a charity that she and her cousin started at 15 to help women in crisis while they're battling breast cancer. They got me on board while I was still in treatment. There was no time to dwell on the illness. Uh, it was jump in and let's go. There are a lot of women that need our help. Breast Intentions is a charity that at this point has raised over $850,000. When they're up at night worrying about how they're going to put food on the table, that's, that's a burden we'd like to take away from them so they can concentrate on getting well. The Pink Pact is a program to try to educate and inspire young women to take charge of their health and in particular to do a monthly self-breast exam. On our website, pinkpact.org, you can go there and sign a pledge to do a breast self-exam. I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. I've dealt with breast intentions both times. They helped me pay my mortgage. Um, they paid a few of my bills and uh, even medicine because they were so expensive. Carol, she's a warm and giving person, um, always willing to help. She's very generous and I, it's a pleasure. I'm honored to know her. She's as beautiful spiritually as she is physically. It's her strength, her conviction, and her relentless passion for getting things done that has affected the lives of so many people. And that to me is a true portrait of courage. Touch your tatas, grab your girls. Not only did she show great personal strength, great caring for other people and the people who are taking care of her, but also an incredible sense of humor. I think that the first thing that impressed me about Dr. Hetzler was his compassion. He made me believe that I would be whole again and that I would get through it. And um, through Dr. Hetzler's guidance, with his compassion, and with his surgical skill, I am whole again. This disease is very daunting because even aside from the stage I was diagnosed at, it's also a very disfiguring disease. And uh, you wonder if you will ever be the same person that you were. And you're not, but you're, you're a better one. <laughs>